Hey guys, Tony here, and in this video, we will be taking a look at the newest flagship gaming projector from BenQ, which can also be used for home theatre and movies, which is the X3100i. Check the links in the description below for current pricing, and we will be taking a look at the gaming performance on the Xbox Series X with various games, and also how it performs for movies, which is what I know many of you would like to know. You can take a look at the chapter markers down below if you'd like to skip ahead or come back to a topic that interests you. A quick heads up, BenQ did send me this projector for review, but they've got no say in what I'm about to share and the links are not affiliate links so I don't make any commissions if you decide to buy one and this isn't a paid review either. If this is the first time watching my channel, why not consider subscribing as I do regular content around home theatre, product reviews and home theatre room tours. So this projector has the same light engine and internals of other BenQ projectors currently on the market with the 4 LED DLP light engine with support for the Rec. 709 and BT2020 color space using a 0.65 inch DMD which makes this a true 4K display and we can expect over 30,000 hours of use time running from this projector if running in eco mode however I would suggest running in full power mode to get the best performance which does reduce the overall lifespan by about 10,000 hours. The biggest and most obvious positive for me is that it has vertical lens shift and optical zoom which means that you can place the projector where you need to and you can dial it in without using keystone or digital zoom. The controls for this are manual but a projector of this price and form factor with the ability to zoom and shift the image is pretty unique. The X3100i has a theoretical focus limit of 300 inches, however I would suggest that the brightness is not enough for you to get a good picture at that size, and for me 120 inches is pretty much a sweet spot. Dimensions are 10.7 inches wide by 7.8 inches high and 10.2 inches deep and it weighs in at 14 pounds with various mounting options as shown during the unboxing. We have a 4K display with support for HDR and this is important because most new movies and also gaming consoles now support HDR so that you can get the best of both worlds for gaming and movies as you will see from the demos later in the video. We have a brightness rating of 3300 NC lumens and a contrast rating of 600,000 to 1. However, I would suggest that this is a theoretical rating based on the light source dimming rather than closing down the iris. The contrast and black levels are actually pretty decent, although BenQ are not known for their deep blacks, this projector does do a fine job of rendering dark scenes, although you would need to control the ambient light in your room to get the best results. The truth of this projector and other BenQ projectors is that they do lack a little in the contrast department, and the same can be said about this projector. But if you calibrate it with a sensor, you will definitely be able to squeeze a lot better black levels and I found it to be more than good in most scenes as you will see from the demos. But I will say that you do need to control the light in your room and you will be fine. In terms of display options and latency, the X3100 supports up to 4K60 with 16.7 milliseconds latency, however you can get 2K60 down to 4.2 and the best trade-off for input lag versus performance with 2K 120Hz at 8.2 milliseconds. I'll leave the supported modes up on the screen. We tested out all of the modes and my son thought that the 4K60 was actually the best performance from all the modes while retaining a nice vibrant image and was really surprised at how responsive it was as projectors normally have a lot of input lag, the X3100i is pretty much lag free. The built-in menu also shows that there is an auto game detection mode where you can fire up the console, change the input label to the console name and it will detect it and switch over to the mode and the type of game that you're playing. There is also an option to plug your laptop in and send presets to the specific games to optimize it but I won't cover off that in this video. It is there if you decide that's something that you want to use to maximize the performance. There is optimization built in for gaming, especially for HDR modes, with four game types supported for first-person shooters, sports, RGP adventure games, and racing simulators. 
You can manually change between the modes as well. And there is also a digital crosshair you can enable for shooters, but I would leave that off personally. I will also mention here that the remote is backlit and has a button specially for you to change between the different gaming modes, which is really helpful. Finally, there is 3D support for those of you who want to watch movies in 3D. Impossible for me to show you here, but the option is there if you need it. Installation is pretty easy. I didn't want to ceiling mount this one, so I put it on a speaker stand and it didn't take long for me to have it set up with the built-in Android TV dongle, certified for Netflix and other streaming apps. It was actually the quickest projector setup I've ever done on my channel, which is saying something. The main thing was to get it aligned, which I did using the manual toggles. And one thing that I will say is that I was able to get the focus tack sharp, which was really nice. And I didn't need to use Keystone at all. Another thing about BenQ is the attention to calibration control and the ability to dial in the color temp and the color accuracy. I won't cover that in this video, but let's just say you can get this projector dialed in very nicely for movies in HDR mode while using the advanced features. Before I get into the demos, I wanted to say that I was completely surprised at how good this projector was for gaming. Yes, I know it's marketed as a gaming projector, but I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The picture is very vibrant, bright, and colorful. And the biggest thing that I noticed was the response time. The menus feel really punchy and fast. And when you're playing a game, it is as responsive as a low latency TV. For third person shooters, all of my kids had a crack at Fortnite, which is still very popular at the moment. And the feedback I got from all three was that this is easily the fastest response time that they've ever experienced in this setup, as I always get them to test games out when I install a new projector for review. I personally had a crack at Forza, which is the only game I really play on the Xbox, and they were right. It was like playing on a TV. The controls are very responsive, and if you haven't played a game on a 120 inch screen before, this could be the time to give it a go. There is something very immersive about gaming on a screen this large, as well as having an immersive sound system to match, it's really easy to get pulled into the action. Hitman was another visually stunning and cinematic game. It was cool to just casually walk through the city admiring the scenery. There is something about playing on a massive 120 inch screen, the immersion factor just pulls you in, and this projector certainly does the job better than other projectors that I've tested with higher latency. Now for movies, I will say that this projector, like all previous BenQ projectors I've reviewed, gives a very cinematic image. What I mean by cinematic is that there is a very natural look to the picture without the high contrast, sharp digital look that you can get from some laser projectors. The focus is tack sharp, but the image itself has a very nice color balance. And as I prefer a darker, high contrast image, it also means that you get more vivid colors as bright images can often desaturate or wash out the colors. In the movie demos I watched, I really enjoyed both the SDR and HDR renditions, with SDR looking almost like HDR with an image that pops off the screen. Bear in mind you are looking at the image that I'm recording through my camera, so bear that in mind that you won't truly see what I'm seeing in my room in person, but it will hopefully give you an idea. What really surprised me was how good it did perform in movies that have a lot of darkness, like John Wick 4, the Tokyo Continental scene, it's a favourite of mine to demo, and the level of detail in his face was still quite visible, and the colour reproduction was vibrant and saturated, which is how I like my images to look. To test out bright scenes, Avatar Way of Water also looked very three-dimensional, and I was really surprised how it displayed on my ALR screen. There was loads of contrast even in the bright scenes. Another cool demo was my favorite demo scene of all time, and that's the Ready Player One scene, which is moderately dark and has deep levels of contrast. The X3100i had no issues rendering a very nice image, especially as it's fast paced. I didn't see any artifacting or rainbow effects, which I do notice on projectors with a 0.47 inch DMD. I just didn't see any of that at all. If you see any banding, it isn't visible in person and is only due to the refresh rate of my camera being slightly off from the screen's refresh rate. There is a scene from Alita Battle Angel where she's waking up which is particularly cinematic and has lots of vividness in the face and the X3100i did a great job here. There is loads of contrast and deep colors in the image. So while the projector is marketed as a gaming projector, it has no trouble at all for playing back movies in a very cinematic way. One movie that really caught my attention was Tron Legacy, which is one of my all time favorite movies. And I'm used to watching this on my JVC with the deep black levels, but was blown away by how good the image looked. 
Now bear in mind, I do have an ALR screen and I have covered all the windows to block as much light as possible, but there was still a lot of detail in the dark areas of the image. If you want to use this projector without a speaker system, you have two built-in speakers which perform decently enough. And there is also Android TV dongle, which is licensed for Netflix. So you can watch movies straight from the BenQ without the need for an Apple TV. Not much else to say about that. It performs as you would expect from an Android TV. My personal preference is to go with an Apple TV and external speaker system for the most immersive audio and video on a big screen. So my final thoughts on this projector after having it in the setup for a while to make this video review, when it comes to gaming on a big screen, I don't think I've tested anything that performed as well as the X3100i. The response time and overall smoothness of the gameplay is as good as a low latency gaming monitor. The controls are very tight and feels like real time control. And the standout scenes for me being from Hitman where he's walking through the city felt like a movie scene. The biggest plus for me is also the optical zoom and lens shift. While not electronic, the toggles are easy to get things lined up, which can take the stress out of a new setup. The only negative I will say is that there is an HDMI 2.1, so you do miss out on 4K 120Hz gaming, but overall this projector will give you an excellent gaming experience. So guys check the links down in the description for the current pricing and where to buy one for your setup. I can easily recommend this projector if you're in the market for a top notch gaming projector that is also very capable when it comes to home cinema and watching movies. And I'd like to thank BenQ for sending this in to me for review, I've really enjoyed my time with it. If you found the video helpful, why not give it a thumbs up and leave any questions you have down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I have plenty more videos coming very soon, so why not subscribe so that you don't miss them. Anyway guys, that's it for this one, you'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.